Hello everyone and welcome back to my painting show. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a portrait of your choosing. Let's get started. So first of all, we're going to look up the picture that we want to do. You can choose anything you want. I'm probably going to do something from a movie, but if you want to do a celebrity or somebody from a TV show or even a book, feel free to do whatever you like. I'm going to do my favorite movie star. And of course, my favorite movie star being Lewis, as everyone's favorite camp cowboy, Snake Oil. First up, we're going to sketch out our portrait. I always like to start with this so I can make sure I get the dimensions and the shapes of everything correct, so it doesn't end up all misshapen and disproportionate. I'm going to map out the outline of our head and body. I like to place a T-shape in the middle of our face during this stage to make sure everything ends up in the right spot. The horizontal line represents where our eyes will be, and the vertical goes right down the center. I find the most important part here is nailing your facial features. You need to make sure you get the eyes, nose, and mouth the correct size, shape, and in the right spot because it could make or break the likeness of whomever your portrait is supposed to resemble. I will compare the reference photo to the size of our canvas to make sure we're placing everything in the right spot. If you make any small errors or mistakes during your sketch, do not panic. This is merely a guide. We're just going to be covering this all up regardless. Feel free to add in any other small details you think will help, but once you have a rough outline, I think we're ready for the paint. We're going to start by making a nice flesh tone and coloring in a base coat for our face. Next. We will slowly mix this color in with some blacks and whites to create the different shadows and highlights on our face. Look at the reference picture to see what you will need to have brighter or darker because lighting is essential in bringing our portrait to life. Let's add some shadows and details around the nose, a little red to the lips, and black for our eyebrows. Just like that, our face is starting to take shape. Let's give our guy some emotion, and for that, I'm going to put in some details on his teeth and eyes. Now, while this is a lovely floating head, I think he'd look a little less creepy if we gave him some clothes and hair, don't you think? Let's put in a base black color for our hat and a bit of gray for his poncho. Similar to what we did for his skin, we will add in some white and black to his clothes to make them really stand out. Finally, we will add in some facial hair and a little snow in his clothes for some nice detail. And there you have it, a nice and simple way to make your very own portrait. Always be sure to sign your art, because that thing could be worth a lot of money in the future, trust me. And just like that, we've created a masterpiece. If you create one of your own, feel free to share it with us on Facebook. I'll see you next week.